Everlasting Arms Ministries. Using the power of God to touch lives and restore destinies. We welcome you to join us and may God bless you. surely answer ask him for a miracle ask him for a miracle when you ask now by the time we're running up very soon now and then I'm sealing them your miracle will have been delivered by the angels of the living God yeah ask him heaven will bake that miracle for you Yes, Lord. I need a miracle, Father. In Jesus' name we are praying. And amen. Let's put our hands together for such a wonderful word. Such a wonderful message. Hallelujah. Amen. Today is Mother's Day, so also let's honor Pastor Lai. Please let's rise up and honor. Yeah, let's honor. Come on, church, let's honor this woman. I want to stretch forth your hands towards her. And then bless her the way you want God to bless you. Bless her the way you want God to bless you. The way you want God to bless your own life. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you, Rock of Ages. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, Prince of Peace. Thank you, Lion of the Tribe of Judah. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Glorious are you, Lord. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I'm still going to pray for you and I'm going to pray for the woman. But let's have a seat. You might find me a little bit emotional. There's a reason. But I need to quickly speak this to you. And what a wonderful day for God to make me to say this before you on a Mother's Day. Without a mother, nobody will have been here. Even our Lord Jesus Christ says, Mother, look at that son. And son, look at that mother. I want you to open your Bible to the book of Second Kings. And First Kings, I mean. And I want you to just quickly look at this. I just want to read something to you. First Kings chapter 3. And I'm going to read from verse 16. I was somewhere 
I was preaching last Saturday somewhere. And at, at the, before they will introduce me, and you know what? I always have witness for everything I say. And everything I say is recorded since I started ministry life. Everything I say is recorded. I was sharing with some people, myself and some of my prayer uh, friends, colleagues, and we're praying together from another country. And I was saying to him, I said, you know, he said to me, he said, oh, Pastor K, you know what? God has called you to nations. Nations. He said, for you to speak to kings and authority. Oh, and he said, you know, and God gives you word for nations too. I said, yes, it's true. I said, you know, I've been since 2007, 8, 9, and so on. Now that I really normally move out to document to give the word on 31st, if you check it, you see, if it's someone is sent by God, if he's a prophet or he's ordained by God, chosen by God, check their words. If they give the prophecies also or revelations, what God is saying has to be what God is saying. At the beginning of this year, God said it to us. He said to us, he said there is going to be what? He said there will be earthquake. In fact, I wrote it in my book and he said to me, he said, there's going to be earthquake in Haiti and then in many parts of the world. And on that 31st, I wanted to consider it on Haiti. He said to me, he said, no, son, because there will be earthquake in a lot of places. If there's one place I would have loved to just probably go, even if I can take one day to go and rest, would have been Turkey. Probably I would have been Turkey when the earthquake occurred also. And he didn't even give the chance. Check the things that God says to us also in this place. You will know that they are true. And we always see them happening. Honey, can I have your water? Thank you. And on Saturday, last Saturday when I was preaching, so the guy introduced me. I've never seen him before. And he said to me, he said, he was saying to the people, and he said, oh, you know, this person that is going to speak to us, we have an honor to have him, and so on and so forth. And so on. he said, you see, the first time, I've seen him several times without meeting him. But I saw him one time also, myself and my wife, we were glued to the TV. They were doing a prayer program. And uh, around that time, I remember he was the one who was speaking about Mara being beyond limitations. And so he said it. And he said they will glue themselves there. And they will be, they will be praying. They pray from night till the morning. We're having seven hours in his presence. You remember seven hours in his presence? How many of you were here then? Okay. Okay. Seven hours in his presence, a wonderful, powerful program that will show live on TV. And we'll start from 10.30, we'll finish about 5 a.m. Bishop Francis has been here, Gandhi, Agu, so many, many, many great people too have been here. And so on to do that service with us. Powerful service. In the same auditorium where you are sitting. It was not even as beautiful as this then. And then he said, he said, it changed my life. It touched my life. Many things happened. Who were the people that were with me when we went? Where are they? All the people that followed me. And, and so where's your me? Uh, Dr. Dayan went to your me. Where's your me? And some other, uh, Pastor Tunde also. Okay. You know, and then this guy made the announcement. I've even forgotten. This many years now. And the pastor called me, I think it was two, three days ago. And this pastor was talking to me on the phone. He said, oh, Pastor K, what a long time, sir. He said, I'm no, so about three or four days ago, I was in the office. And he said, Pastor, I just said, I must greet you. So the pastor said, oh. He said, Pastor, because we haven't seen you or heard of, um, we haven't seen you around. I said, oh, no. We have tasks to achieve. And for me, I'm a kind of person that focus on what is present. I have focus. And when I have focus, I work on that focus at that point in time. I don't care what anybody is saying because I know there's going to be another time you move to do something else. Life is in stages and you do things by stages and you make plans. You know, I always say to people, I, I will not go and buy a beautiful, mighty Mercedes Benz if I don't have a house. 